I got this little Hako station, and this is the older model, a triple eight D digital. Really nice. I got it for sixty bucks, which was a real bargain. The only thing missing was the sponge, and I got an Amazon twelve. It's cellulose sponges. They have to be cellulose, so they are temperature proof and uh, they are thin. But once you soak it with water, they become nice and uh, nice and thick, just like this one here. And they work great. If you need sponge for your uh, soldering iron, you get a pack of twelve. This was only two ninety nine and has on uh, different colors, but it has to be the solo sponge. Now, the problem with this one is that there is a, a password lock and it, nobody knows the password. Uh, so sometimes you may forget the password or somebody uh, just played with it and unintentionally uh, set a password. Uh, and I found, looking through all kinds of forums and uh, information I found what how to reset it so I'm going to try it the first time now let me show you what happens right now so this is the factory reset procedure uh, when you press both of these buttons up and enter simultaneously and then turn on the uh, station so I'm going to do it right now press these two together and I'm turning on the station and it will ask for the password. You see the three lines means that I need to enter the password which I don't have. So I'm going to reset it according to a procedure that I found on the on the web. The resetting password resetting procedure which is very different from the factory reset. The factory reset will not reset your password but with the password the I think it's a little bit of tricky uh, business because you have to have a dongle and the dongle is very simply a resistor that's connected between the two uh, pins on the right hand side and I recommend making a little uh, switch because this will allow you to time the procedure properly to do it within five seconds from the first to the second step which is crucial for success of the reset so let me show you what I mean. I have this very simple contraption. So it has, um, I have magnet wire, little switch, uh, and then I have the resistor 56 ohm. Everything is plugged in securely uh, with pins that are about the same size as the pins in the plug of the iron, in the soldering iron. So what I'm going to do right now is hold the enter button and uh, turn it on wait for the S dash E okay and right now all I do is uh, press the push button wait for two temperatures the first will be the set temperature for the iron the second will be the temperature that comes from this uh, resistor which will be this is a substitute for the thermocouple and so it will be about uh, 60 50 60 degrees uh, temperature and I'm going to uh, push it again. So the first press and the second uh, have only a five second or less gap allowed. However, I have to wait, once I press it, I have to wait for the two temperatures to show up. The 370, which is the set temperature, and then the 50, whatever it is, 56, 50 something. And as soon as it shows up, I release the button and then sec press it second time and do it again and wait for the RST to show up on the display which is the reset uh, done, reset of the password. Once I press the button the whole reset procedure uh, goes into action so I have to be pretty quick and time everything correctly. Now if it doesn't work first time all you do is just repeat and keep repeating until you have it right. I had to do it a few times before I got it reset properly. But all you do is start the procedure by pressing it, waiting for the second temperature, release and press it again and now we have RST which is reset. But if you do it quickly within 5 seconds from the first push uh, to the 
uh, to the end of the operation, you will be successful. If it doesn't work, all you do is turn it off and try the procedure one more time and don't get discouraged. Uh, so let, let me show you again. I'm going to uh, hold the enter, wait for the S dash E. Here you go, and now I'm going to start the procedure by pressing the button, waiting for the second release, do it again, and I've got RST again. So not a problem. If you time it correctly, uh, then you will be successful. If it doesn't work, uh, try again and again, you will be successful. Right now the password is reset. Well, thank you for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like it.